Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived one more time, y'all. Let's get it in. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Derek Yahuda, Israel, also known as Pastor Derek, on this evening Bible study on this 25th day in June 2024. We back at it for some more, y'all. We back at it for some more. I want to thank the Most High for Randall being up in here on the conference line. We got Al Mal up in here. We also got a Mother Katie. Bless you, Mother. I'm glad you're healing up and everything. We need to talk more often. I'm going to have to sneak up on you and call you. Haven't seen you in a minute, but it's good to see you in here. You're faithful, even in the time of trial. So bless you. Um, good to see you in here. As as those is chiming in to the conference line, feel free to push the share button and share your platforms with the truth of the word. And those of you that got a tag game, get your tag game going. <coughs> Hallelujah, you know, you know, as well. We're back at it like a fanatic, y'all. We in the uh in the uh, Bible study series part two of mine or his. Yeah, my, my mine. Hallelujah. Uh, um, or his. So let's let's start off <clears throat> again. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna go to Ma Matthews, right? Matthews sixteen. Beginning at the um twenty uh, first twenty first verse. Yeah. Begin the twenty first verse. Uh huh. And so mm, Yeah. Let's open up a prayer. Heavenly Father, we love you and thank you for another opportunity to be in your presence. You know, for to get in the word that we may continue to grow in you. Sin the relevant word calls the Bible study to be fruitful. Leaving guide the Bible study that your children may grow. We love you, believe you, we thank you. In Yahushua's name, we humbly pray. Hallelujah. And amen. All right, y'all. Um, Matthew 16, 20. I'm going to add this in. Why not? Because it is important. So let's start at, I believe, more like 16 and 16. Huh? Well, even 14, right? <laughs> okay. Thirteen is cool. Start at thirteen verse sixteen and thirteen. <clears throat> Look what they say. Thirteen. And when Yahushua came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, "Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am?" 
You with us, Don Deems? And they said, some say, Thou art Yachanan the Mercer or John the Baptist. And some say Elias. And some others say Jeremiah or one of the prophets. And he said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Messiah, the Son of the living Elohim. And Yahushua answered and said unto him, Blessed be thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter Kepha, and, and upon this rock I will build my ecclesia, the congregation of Israel. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Now listen. This is extra credit, but this is the answer of Jeremiah 31, 31 through 33. Right here. Upon this rock I will build my congregation which is Israel Yashrael these wicked folks switched it to the church that's a lie it's Israel you with me Jasmine Matthew 16 and 18 if you look up the word church it would say ecclesia if you look it up in the Greek in the Greek translated it from congregation and the Bible speaks of the congregation which is Israel the 12 tribes of Israel are y'all with me and Jeremiah said that the Most High would enter into a new covenant with Judah and Israel Judah and Israel is the congregation Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my congregation in Greek ecclesia, and the gates of hell should not prevail against it. Uh huh. Yeah, this is the dry bones, e Ezekiel 37, that he told the Son of Man to breathe into. And they stood up, an exceedingly great army. Because the gates of hell is not going to prevail against it. <laughs> Are y'all listening? So the 19th verse teaches us, And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind, on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then charged he his disciples, that they shall tell no man that he was uh, Yahushua, the Messiah. And from that 21, y'all, listen, Teresa and um, Dimitri, y'all son, listen, 21, uh, Matthew 16, 21. From that time forth began Yahushua to show unto his disciples how that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and of the chief priests and the scribes and to be killed and to be raised again the third day. Now I got to deal with this. And, and, and the reason that I got to deal with this because there's some good food in here. From that time forth began Yahushua to show his disciples how he must go to Jerusalem and suffer. Are you listening? He wasn't letting them know about the suffering beforehand. Leslie Sutton. You, 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 you got to have revelation of the death, burial, and resurrection. That's what you need. In this case, he hadn't died or resurrected yet. 
but bare minim minimum, you got to know who he is at this point right here. He, he wasn't, he wasn't revealing to them the suffering piece because they wouldn't understood because the suffering piece is associated with the resurrection form of death. There is a death death, a doomsday death, a damnation death that was earmarked for sinners. Doomsday. Death for the angels reserved in, in chains of darkness onto the day of judgment. Oh, there's a death death, a, a doomsday death. But before you can tell a person about death, they got to understand a resurrection or their state of mind is what's the use. Are y'all listening? What? Why am I doing? Why would I go through all this and live right and hold on and all that? If at the end of it, I'm just going to die. Death still going to come get me. The curse that the first Adam brought on earth is reigning supreme. What, 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 what? Right? So, he had set this thing up when he asked, who do people say that I am? Because you can see even other religions' opinion of who the Messiah is. There's only one belief system that know he's the creator of all and every in and, and every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess there's only one um true relationship true understanding it's only one spiritual position that gives the necessary level of revelation to the deity of the Messiah. Only one. You got you got others religious position. They give him his, his props as a, a sanctified you know prophet. Yeah. There's even one that, you know, calls him the son, but it's tainted. They think he's the second in the Godhead. And he got a daddy. But there's only one that really discloses who he is. Now, listen. When it's disclosed, because you notice, look, let me read 21 so y'all can really get where the Most High is leading me with this. 21, Matthew 16, 21. From that time, we understand that. Once, once Peter said who he was, you're the tabernacle of the word. You're the lamb that would come. Right? You're the seed of the woman that bruised the head of the serpent, right? From that time forth, began Yahushua to show unto his disciples how that they must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things at, 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 at the elders and the chief priests and the scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. That's death, burial, and resurrection. Can y'all see that in 21? Yeah. They had to know who he is so he then can disclose to them the mission. But you got to have revelation of who he is. If you think he's a prophet, you're going you gonna to put him with Muhammad in them, with Confucius in them. Yeah, you're you going to put him as a good prophet. Oh, yeah, he was a good dude, pretty, smart, pretty sharp, pretty smart. But there's only one revelation that leads you to death, burial, and resurrection. Yeah. 
Yeah. Only one. Are y'all with me? So you got to know who he is in order for you to understand suffering. And even in that, it has to be learned because like I told y'all, showed y'all, that the Messiah had not died yet, so they were not filled with the Ruah yet. The Ruah was in the body teaching them. I showed y'all in this, it, 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 oh yeah, in the morning teachings in the book of John. That's what I showed you. But then I cut straight through the chase and took y'all in the book of John. Um, I took y'all to John 14 where he let them know that he was the Ruah HaKadosh, standing in the flesh. The, the spirit of Yah was in the flesh, and it was there talking to them, but it was going to be in them eventually, David Logan and, and Tierra Banks. Are y'all with me? Right? But Matthew 16, 21, look. From that time forth, after they were able to disclose that he was the tabernacle of the living Elohim. From that time forth began Yahushua to show unto his disciples how he must go on to Jerusalem and suffer many things. Yeah, there's suffering involved. And you're not going to be willing to suffer unless you know who he is. Because suffering ain't going to make sense to you. See, once you know who he is, it will come clear the new covenant, the new contract. If you don't know who he is, you're going to be under the old contract. You're still going to be leaning on Moshe, on Moses. You're still going to be leaning on beards and fringes. You're not, you're not going to understand that the Messiah is Torah in flesh. And the word was made flesh. See, first the word was made stone. Um, at Mount Sinai, the word was made stone. And was engraved on stone. But Jeremiah 31, 31 through 33, let us know, no, it's going to be written on the tables of our heart. The word of Yah is going to be off of stone. Even our Bibles we got, our physical Bible, it's on pages right now. But the Most High want the word off the pages into our hearts. That's why we study to show ourselves approved, don't we? That's why that's why we read and we meditate in the word. Both day and night. So we can be like that that tree planted by the rivers of water. Because what happens with the tree uh, that's planted by the rivers of water is his roots go into the water. Constant contact. Always being fueled, always eaten, always being nourished. You got to know who he is. Listen, to be willing to suffer because you'll know, oh, that, this is the second Adam. The first Adam sinned against the Most High. This is the second Adam. The, the first Adam, it was more of a natural covenant and agreement. The second Adam, he, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's, he's a quickening spirit. Moses was made at the, after the ministry of the first Adam. And up under the ministry of the first Adam, the Most High had to put his word on stone. Alvin Jones. Are y'all listening? Dealing with that with the fallen nature of Adam. Moses had the fallen nature of Adam. So did Abraham. Born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Yeah, they, they, they had the fallen, the fallen nature. You with me, Melissa? Matthew 16, 21. Yeah. But it was all leading to the word being made flesh, John 1 and 14. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. It was leading to that. And when that happened, it was important from that. Who, who do men say that I am? So they can go down the list of all these religious positions that people give him. But then he said, but who, who do you say that I am? And, and when they knew that he was the Messiah, the Son. They knew that the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. 
They didn't think it was the second person in the Trinity. Because it ain't. They didn't think that. They, they didn't think that there's a, a Holy Ghost third person in the Trinity. They didn't think that. Because it ain't. But once they knew who he was, now you understand that the first ministry of the flesh from, from Adam to Moses, right? You would understand that it's being, it's, it's being changed, Jeremiah 31, 31 through 33. You, you, you understand that? And with this disqualification of our, our, our human nature, born in sin and shaped in iniquity, seriously, that being disqualified, listen, now you know you're set up to understand we got to be born again. And in the second birth, it's not catering to your human nature no more. That sinful nature, we don't we don't live for that no more. We don't cater to that no more. Yeah, you're gonna get angry. Yeah, you might lust, get horny, yeah, you might get mad, yeah, you might whatever. Yeah, you don't want to obey Yah and do what he say. I get it. That's sinful nature. But the Bible says he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. You're willing to suffer. That's it, you're willing to suffer. So once they knew who he was, listen, once they knew who he was, then 21st verse becomes applicable. From that time, forth began Yahushua to show unto the disciples how he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and the chief priests and the scribes and, 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 and be killed and raised up the third day. Are y'all with me? But watch this, 22nd verse teaches us that Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, Be it far from thee, Adonai, this shall not be unto thee. Did Peter receive it? I'm going to show you all this. Um, I just talked to you the other day. But John 7 and 39. Do I want 38 with it? Let's do 38 and 39. I just talked this the other day. Whosoever, John 7, 38, 39. Whosoever believeth in me, as the scripture has said, rivers of living water shall flow within him. That's the Ruach HaKadosh, the spirit of the Most High is flowing in them. Rivers of living water, right? By this he meant the spirit, that's the Ruach, whom those who believe in him will later receive on to this time the Ruah or the spirit had not been given since Yahushua had not yet been glorified meaning he had not died yet are y'all following me he had not died yet because the spirit the Ruah was housed the word was housed in the body still proving its love. Yeah. The Messiah, the son, was still being qualified. He had to do all those things that was written of him. So he he had not he had not uh uh been been been, been glorified yet. Are y'all with me? Uh, let me show y'all this. 
Let's go to um, John 20 right quick. We still in the book of John. I'm cheating with my Bible study that I'm having. <laughs> but let's go to John 20 right quick, right? Let's say 20 and 20. Let's try that. Let's go to John 20. Right quick. This is Bible study, y'all. Um to give us more elbow room let's start at the 19th verse look what this at on the evening of that first day of the week when the disciples were together with the doors locked for the fear of the Jewish leaders Yahushua came and stood among them and said peace be with you after he said this he showed them his hands and his side Disciples were overjoyed when they saw Yahushua. And again, Yahushua said, Peace be with you. And as the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with, and with that, he breathed on them and said, Receive ye the Ruach HaKodesh. Did y'all hear that? Receive the... That was after he died and rose. They need to show him his hands and his side. Now, now the Ruach can flow. Are y'all with me? Notice when you get the spirit, that's when rivers of living water flow. The, the power of the word is working in your life. Before then, it wasn't. You still They were still under Torah. They were still under the Old Testament. Until he died and rose. And then he came and breathed the Ruach HaKadosh. Are y'all with me? Put a one in here if y'all with me. So watch this. Let's go back to Matthew 16. And you can see the necessity now, you should, of them knowing who the Messiah is for them to understand suffering. Because if you go to somebody else talking about we're supposed to suffer, they're going to think we're being cheated, like the white man cheated us, like we ignorant. The ones that selling their soul for rock and roll, chasing a bag. The ones that's fornicating and traveling and saying uh, white man want us to miss out on this. <laughs> hey, hey, white man want it because they want it all for themselves. They want all the Luciferian living for themselves. They want all the rainbow living and all the Luciferian living for themselves. This wicked joker here, this wicked place here. Brothers think that they brainwashed us to not, you know, because we don't want to be involved in that. Listen. They're not going to understand suffering. See, we're, we're, our suffering is we're, we're not feeding this wicked nature the fornication that they feed and they, 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 they flesh. The drug use, the excessive, you know, you know, you know, you know, a, a partying, banqueting, you know, riotous living. They think we're missing out on the gangster rap. And cussing folks out and shooting. Right? Because those are the works of the flesh. Watch. Look. It was necessary for them to understand who the Messiah was. And since they were able to recant back to him who he was, 21 teaches us from that time Fourth began Yahushua to show unto disciples how he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and the chief priests and the scribes and be killed and be raised from 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 from, from the dead on the third day. Are y'all with me? So the twenty second verse then teaches us. Then Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, "Be it far from me, Master. This should not be on thee. Onto thee. Why did he do that?" 
because he didn't have the Ruah HaKadosh. He didn't have the spirit of Yah yet. He still was carnal. He was rolling with him. He loved him, but he was still carnal. Yeah. So we can't even compare ourselves to Peter. People, people love, oh, I'm like Peter. You shouldn't be. Peter didn't have a rule at that time. He was still worldly, but he was running with him. He, still, he was still under Torah. Yeah, that's why the Messiah kept Torah, because he was still under it. Yeah, he had to fulfill it. Didn't he say it? One job to tittle, one pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Didn't he say on the tree when he was hanging there, when he yielded up the ghost, he said, it is finished. Didn't he say that? Matter Yahoo, good to see you in here. Didn't he say that? Destiny Isom? Matthew 16? 22? Now? 22? 16 and 22? Then Peter took him and began to rebuke him. Why? Because he was carnal. This is my homeboy. This this my this is my pastor. No, you can't. You can't do that. Carnal. He didn't understand suffering. He was teaching him. He knew he wasn't gonna get it until later. That's why I want to plant the seed. He was planting the seed. So when the spirit came, he said, Oh, that's what he was talking about. Oh, now I see. Oh, okay. We, oh, no, I, now I understand. See, right now you don't understand. Right? 21, he's, from that time, he, they know who he was. F f from that time forth, began Yahushua to show unto his disciples how he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders, the chief uh, uh, priests, and, and, and the scribes, and be killed and be raised the third day. That didn't mean nothing to Peter at the time. He's like, oh, no, 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 dog. No, no, dog. Hold on, man. Check this out. Uh-uh. No. Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, Be far from thee, Adonai. This shall not be unto thee. But, 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 but Yahushua turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. Because Satan tried to attack through Peter. You know, words is spirit, and you got words that come from the devil. Those words came from the devil through Peter. Yeah, he was, rebuke, he was rebuking that spirit that came out of him. Satan, and Satan in the, in the Greek means adversary. <laughs> what he said was adversarial to the will of Yah. Get behind me, Satan. Thou art art an offense on me. You offended me. You are, you're offense on me. For thou savest not the things to be of Yah, but the things to be of men. We got, look, the name of this Bible study is part two, but the name of this Bible study is mine or his. We, we, we got to understand who we down. Am I down with my will or his? Am I down with the will of Yah or mine? I got an agenda too. There's some things I'd be doing. There's some things I'd be doing. There's some things you would be doing. I pray there's some things y'all ain't doing right now <laughs> that goes against y'all doing you, no matter what he say. It's hell to pay. Side note. 23, y'all. But he turned and said unto Peter, Get get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art an offensive. Don't, don't, don't pump me up to leave my family. Don't, don't pump me up to fight him. Sleep with her. Don't pump me up to get drunk or high. Get behind me, Satan. Don't tell me it don't take all that. Oh, you, you, oh, how many times you gonna chime in in the week? Who are you doing too much? Get behind me, Satan. 
I'm not advising y'all to go around calling people Satan. <laughs> but you definitely, in our vernacular, can I'm not listening to you. I'm about y'all's business. You talking some foolishness. He said, thou art offense on me. For thou savoreth, you, you more interested in the things of this flesh. You more interested in some worldly stuff. I'm not interested in that no more. I'm repenting. I'm turning to the most high. You offense on me. The, you, you, you're more interested. Thou savorest not the things to be of Yah, but those things to be of men. Are y'all with me? Put put a two in here if y'all if you if y'all if y'all understand this and you and you with it. And you put a two in here. This Bible study, y'all. Bishop, pull up a chair. We in here. Bishop Dillard. Matthew 16, 23. <laughs> we in here, you know. But he turned and said, look, on the Peter, get, get behind me, Satan. You're adversarial in your position. You're worldly minded. We understood. I just showed y'all why. He had, not, he had not been glorified yet. He had not filled them with the Ruah, the spirit of Yah yet. John McClinton. Yeah. The spirit of the most high still was in the body teaching them. But but after he was he was glorified, after he, he completed the uh, assignment as far as uh having the temple be rent 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 from top to bottom in the temple, giving access to us back to the Father. That's that's that was the mission. That's what the seed of the woman that would bruise the head of the serpent was here for. Leslie said he completed it. And so now, now that, the, that you know, you, can, you can't get going to pot until it finished. In fact, don't go in the pot. I'm going to give you a plate. So he came back to serve them. See, I, I didn't die on the tree, Rose. You know, now, now I'm, 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 I'm going to do evangelistic work for about 40 days or something before I go and send back on up. Yeah. Yeah. Are y'all listening? He he did he did descend it the same that descended back up. Yeah. He had he about forty days he stood. He stayed, ran evangelism. He did some and then and then rose back on it. And angels asked him, "Why are you stand here gazing?" The same Yahushua who you see going back up, he coming back in like manner. He'll be back. What they think is the rapture. He'll be, he'll be back. But but the, the, the rapture is the welcoming committee. Cause he coming here to reign for the thousand year millennial reign, which is a whole nother study. But let's stay right here. Twenty third verse. Listen what it say. Daisy B, we in here. Matthew 16, 23. But he turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan, thou art offense unto me. Mine are here. His, let his will be done. Thou will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thou art offense unto me, for thou savest not the things that be of Yah, but those things that be of men. Right? So in the 24th verse, he said, <clears throat> Who show unto his disciples? If any man listen, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself. Catholicism teaches you you don't have to deny it yourself. You're a sinner saved by, by grace. You can do what you want to do. Jesus did it all for you. You see how see how that that's a lie. That's the doctrine of Balaam in these last and evil days to keep you sinning, so the Most High can curse you. Keep you sinning, to keep you from winning spiritually. See, sin, you can get a bag. You, you can get a bag of money and dope. <laughs> when you sin, you, you, you have plenty of sex. Plenty. That, 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 that's bell worship. It's, it's the devil like that. Get it in. Oh, oh yeah, get the orgy going. That was, that was temple worship. They had orgies. Yeah. You sinning? You think you winning? 
Because you getting all the sex, you deceived, and you're in the bell worship. You you worshiping Satan. Yeah, all them orgasm. You think you winning up? Trying to get your money up so you can have more sex, more more Luciferian worship, more more bell worship. But look what he said. 24 first, Matthew 16. This oh my sis in here now. No in here now. Now y'all really in trouble. Pull up a chair. We in here. Matthew 16, 24. Then then Yahusha said unto his disciples, if any man come after me, look. See, having a form of yahing is denying the power thereof would ignore a scripture like that. If any man come after me, let him deny himself. Folks, folk, folks don't live in self-denial. They they do what they want to do. They say what they want to say. They go. They they come and go as they please. When I get around to it, they on that hype. I'm grown. Okay. But the Messiah is teaching: if any man come after me, let him deny himself, take up his what they call the cross, the torture stake. That's a torture stake. That's the tree that the Messiah died on and rose again. But we 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 like to put it on him. But 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 um um Romans the sixth chapter teaches us that we got to suffer too, right? It, it, it said like, shall shall we continue in seeing that grace may abound? And say, Yah forbid. Shall we that are dead to sin living any longer therein? Know you not so many of us was baptized when the Messiah was baptized into his into his death? So we're buried with him by baptism in the death. And like, like he was raised up by the glory of the Father, even so we should walk in the newness of life. For if we have not planted together in the likeness of his death, we should be also in the likeness of his resurrection, knowing this that our old man is crucified with him that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. For he that is dead is free from sin. Did y'all hear that death, burial, resurrection? Was it just for the Messiah? Or was he talking to us? See, Catholicism will have you putting the death, burial, resurrection on the Messiah, and we get to go finish sinning, because we sin and saved by grace, ain't we? Let them tell it. No, he called them all to repentance. Back to 24, y'all. So Yahushua said unto his disciples, you know what disciple being? Those is following him. Not, not just drawing nigh onto him with their mouth, honoring him with their lips, but their heart is far from him. I'm not talking about that. Yahushua said unto his disciples, those is following him, if any man come after me, let him deny himself, take up his torture stake. Yeah, you die on this tree. Yeah, the same, same when he died on. You got one, too. And follow me. Uh, the Bible study is his or, or mine or his. Who, 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 am I, who, who are we going to obey? My will or his will? Your will or his will? If I'm horny, who will I? Who will am I? If I'm upset, who who will? Who, who will? My, mine are here. Don't let the devil trick you into believing that Jesus did it all and you ain't got a choice to make. You've been bad booze. Stay with me, Ed Hogan. We're going to land the plane in the minute, y'all permit. with me. For whosoever will save his life, look what the 25th verse says. For whosoever will save his life, you know what that means? Do what you want to do. Go against him to save your life. You need the money, money that bad, bad that you're willing to go against him to get it. You're so lonely and you want to quench that, that thirst. Hit that spot. You willing to go against him 
to have somebody hit that spot for you. Can I teach like this? I see you in here, Rhonda Ponda. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. This is this plain. Whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. We stop doing what we want to do. When, 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 when we're confronted with my, my will versus his, his will, we choose him. Are y'all listening? Whosoever saves his life shall lose it. And whosoever loses his life for my sake shall find it. Let's dismount and get out of here with this scripture, y'all. Let's go to Luke right, right quick. Luke 22. We fin we finna get out of here. You with me? My big brother's in here. What's up with you, G? Let's Luke 22. Look what you say. Let's start uh, at the 39th verse. I just want to show you all this. Let me just say. Look. And he came out, out talking about the Messiah, and, and went. And as, as he was um, Thirty-one, thirty-nine, and one, and he came out and went as he was wont. In other words, as he normally does. This was a routine he had, right? And he came out and went as he wont to the Mount of Olives, and his disciples also followed him. And he was at the place. He he said unto them, "Pray that you enter not into temptation." And he was withdrawn from them about a stone's cast. He kept going. Kneeled down and he prayed. Are y'all with me? Uh-huh. 42. Saying, Father, if thy if thou be willing, he had permission, Dana Dane, and uh, Luke 22 and 42. If thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Right? Remove this cup from me. Yeah. He, he, he didn't want to go through it. And I know we all been there. And if, if you haven't, keep living. <laughs> and the cup that's coming in the recent years, in the times we were living in now, if you, if you ain't said that, you will. Saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. But look what he say. Nevertheless, not my will. What will is he talking about? The will of his humanity as a human being. It get hard, hard on us, y'all. We're in the valley of the shadow of death. We don't fear no evil. Why? Because it's raw and stabbed in confidence. But I, I'm telling you, it get rough. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. But some weeping come. It get rough down here. And even us dealing with our evil nature, that's a full-time gig, you dig? Saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. Oh, talk back to me, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Look what 43 said. Look what it say. Listen. And there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him. We be needing, I'm telling you. Do, do not be surprised if we end up in situations where we're going to need an angel from heaven to come and minister to us. Because this thing is real. It's for all the chips to 
but eternal life is so worth. The Bible teaches us that the suffering of this life can can be compared to the glory that should be revealed in us. All we got to do is hold on just a little while longer. Everything going to be all right. Continue to build your faith right now. For when the time comes, well, we're not going to be able to communicate on the level that we're doing right now. You're going to have to have faith in the most high. Be faithful and loyal to him now because if the communication get cut, you're going to have the most high with you. And it's going to be times like this that strengthen your faith that you don't turn on him and think something went wrong and you lose faith, you lose your hope. And if you lose hope, you lose faith because faith is the substance of things hoped for. We operate in faith because of what we're hoping for. And if you lose hope, you're done. you got to remember this. Look at the agony that he's going through. So 43rd verse say, and there appeared an angel on him from heaven, strengthening him. And 44 teaches, and being in agony, listen, and being in agony, John Kennedy, 44, Luke 22, 44, and being in agony, he prayed more earnestly. See, agony will make you, being in agony will make you pray more. And being in agony, he prayed more earnest. And his sweat was as it were great drops of blood falling down to the ground. Woo! And when he rose up from prayer, it was come to his disciples and found them sleeping for sorrow. When you're depressed, do you know you sleep more? They were depressed. They were stressed out. And they ex escaped their current reality. They just wanted to sleep. Wake up like, like it's, this is just a bad dream. I wake up, it's going to be different. No, they woke up right in the garden. Look at Simeon. Mount, Mount, Mount on the Mount. Y'all listen. Mount, Mount, Mount of Olives is where the garden was. Y'all listening? And he said, Oh, then why, why sleep ye? Rise and pray, lest you enter into temptation. And while he yet spake, behold, a multitude, and he that was called Judas, one of the twelve, went before them and drew near unto Yahushua. To kiss. I'm gonna stop right there in the scripture. Good to see you in here, uh, Yolanda. Always a pleasure, young lady. I just finished the lesson. If you led to or play it back, it's a good one. But um, you know, my will is his. You know, and um, our will is strong. Yeah. It took death to break our will. Do you understand that? It, it took death, burial, and resurrection. It took death. But then we got to get unreligioned. We got to get uncatholicized. And we got to realize that in Romans 6, we're baptized into his death as well. It's just not his death. It's our death too. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we should be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Are y'all listening? We like to ride on what he did, and we just go scot-free, sending up the storm. The devil lied to us about a whole lot of stuff. That's just one of them. Taught us that in church. No, you got to die too. It's right there the whole time. Romans 6 chapter. We've been planning again the likeness of his death, we should be also the likeness of his resurrection, knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin, for he that is dead is freed from sin. Is y'all listening? Yeah. We got to know, know that. And it took death to break our will. Sin is an incurable disease. We're born in sin, shaped iniquity. The only way we can escape it is to die. Well, we're baptized into his death. Then like as he was raised up by the glory of the Father, even so we should walk in the newness of life. That's the only way to get rid of sin is you got to be 
baptized into his death to rise up to be born again. Is y'all listening? Only way. If you're still worldly, if you're still you, if you haven't cut yourself loose, oh yeah, you'll 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 fornicate. You'll You'll, you'll commit adultery. If that's not your thing, you'll get high. If that's not your thing, you'll get drunk. Another thing, you'll tell a lie. If that's not your thing, you're chasing the bag instead of the most high. But you you, you ain't lining up with his will. You're doing something wrong because we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. The first Adam nature is a, a bad name. We got to get away from it. We got to be delivered. We got to be delivered from ourselves. It's not my mother nor my father, but it's me <laughs> standing in the need of prayer. I'm going to go, y'all. This is the end of the lesson, but y'all see the agony that he went through, but he didn't quit. Y'all see the agony that the disciples were going through. They was depressed to the point they were sleeping instead. They couldn't, oh, it's too heavy. I got to sleep. We saw in here that the angels came and ministered to the Messiah, though. Oh, that's so refreshing. Because of the coming time in your life where you're going to need it. And that, that's not the breaking point. How many of y'all got your mind made up? You're going to hold on to him no matter what. And when I mean by hold on to him, not just drawing nigh on him with your mouth, honoring him with your lips, but obeying him. Put a, put a three in here if you plan on obeying him no matter what. You want to walk away from everything, all darkness, all sin, and, and obey him. Put a three in here. Put a three in here. If you're willing to do that, if you have a desire to do that, willing to do that, put it to three. Yeah. Yeah. If it's official, if it's official and you're doing it now, we, we, we're about to get out of here, Chris. You might have to run it back, family, but good to see you in here. But if if, if 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 you want to make it official, let's let's do it official. Let's completely repent and turn to the Most High. Put phone, put phone. If you if you if you want to if you want to fish, I, I repent right now. I want to obey what He's saying right right now, right now. The three was for are you willing? Four is I'm doing it right now. I will not ignore no more. I'm all in right now. I repent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I repent. Yeah, I'm done. I'm, throwing the I'm done. I'm throwing, throwing the towel. I'm done. I'm winning 100%. And we, and we got to see the deal with prayer. Yes, that's how we do it. We go to the throne of unmarried favor with boldness to make our petitions No. Put five on me. Put five in here. Let's pray. Put five on me. Let's pray. Yeah. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Spirit of Elohim, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Humans know how we're in your presence because we love you. And we need you desperately. Continue to build us up in you. We're completely dependent on you. We're casting our cares upon you, knowing that you care. We know you love us. We're learning to love you back. Continue to my renewal process. Continue to transform us by the renewal of our mind. So we'll be able to prove what's good, acceptable, in your perfect will these last and evil days. We need you desperately. Oh, we bow down before you, even in our hearts right now. Clean us up. Clean us up. Present us blameless for your presence. Oh, oh do it for us. We need you help. We call it, we're, not, we're, not, we're not ashamed of the Basora. Or what they call the gospel. Help your children and save us. Write our name in the last book of life. Guard until we see your face in peace. And we'll be kept to give you the praise and the honor. Not only now, but forever. In the matchless name of Yahushua, we help me pray. Hallelujah. 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 And amen. That was the Bible study for the day. I pray we all continue to obey everything the most I say. Okay? All right, I'm not going to keep y'all. Thanks for hanging out. I pray you were baruched. Thank everybody that puts the share button, sharing your platforms with Truth of the World. Thank everybody that had a little tag game, invite folks to come in. Thank everybody that support the ministry. May the most I continue to support you. Y'all support you. be encouraged in him, okay? 
y'all people. If y'all came in late, run it back. It's worth it's worth uh, uh, listening to if you ask me. Y'all be brute. Y'all y'all be uh, brute. Uh, Brock Brock Shalom. Brock Shalom. Brock Shalom. I'm God.